Good morning to all of you. Today we observe Kargil Vijay Devas. 26 July 2020 is a very important day in the history of uh, India. It is in fact uh, the very day on which Indian army defeated the Pakistan soldiers or the Pakistan infiltrators who were really the Pakistan soldiers. 21 years ago, in 1999, this particular Operation Vijay took place. And today we remember that very historic incident in the history of the country. At this moment, we are very, very happy to have this function here. Honorable Commanding Officer, Colonel Jaydeep Sharma, AO Colonel Surendran Sir, Associate NCC Officers, the Permanent Instructors, and my dear cadets. Now, when we celebrate or remember or observe this Kargil Vijay Divas, right now at this moment, early in the morning, the Prime Minister of the country, Sri Narendra Modi, is just lighting the candles at the India Gate and the Amar Jawan Jodi will be just uh, shining like the rising sun, shedding brightness all around. And that brightness that is spread around from the candles and the beautiful flowers that is spread in the Amar Jawan Jodi comes from the heart of all those great martyrs who live for the country. All those great souls and soldiers who live for the country, who fought for the country, who just breathe each and every moment for the great democracy of the world, India. And today, in 2020, on 26 July 2020, when we remember Operation Vijay of 1999, the success of Operation Vijay of 1999, we Indians have to remember the past. The past which was turbulent, the past which was chaotic, the past which was rather dark and bloody because of the problems at the border, because of countries which were not happy with India. And now we have freedom. We have freedom. And is freedom free? That's the question we have to discuss. Is freedom free to each and every civilian of India, each and every citizen of India who is not in the armed force? Freedom is free. But we have to remember there are people paying for the freedom of you and I. There are people who are paying for the freedom of the Indians and who are those people paying for day and night, every day, lifetime, the entire lifetime, 365 days of the year, seven days of the week, away from family, away from parents, away from son and daughter and friends, kith and kin. They are just being very, very vigilant and alert. And it is that alertness that is the price of the freedom we enjoy. So understand the fact that freedom is not free. Our freedom is not free. The armed forces, the Indian Army, the Indian Navy, the Indian Air Force and the vigilant the serpent-like vigilance of the officers and the soldiers of the country just let us have the freedom. And today, when we celebrate or rather observe, there is of course celebration all over the country in all military bases and of course uh, all officers aff affiliated to the Indian Army or Navy or Air Force, there would be celebrations. And as we celebrate and observe, the Operation Vijay of 1999, 
the Kargil Vijay Divas, we have to remember what happened in Indian history. And now, this particular occasion, I am privileged to talk about the war history of India. And this particular lecture of uh, the war history of India is meant for the cadets of 30 Kerala Battalion. Commanding Officer Colonel Jadip Sharma asked me to just make this speech for the entire 30 Kerala Battalion cadets and I am honored by this particular opportunity. I thank the commanding officer and of course the officers of the battalion. I remember the officers in Calicut group. I remember all my colleagues, the associate NCC officers and uh, please let us use some 10-15 minutes to understand the war history of India. And when we discuss, rather when we observe the Kargil Vijay Divas, I am requesting the cadets to go through a wonderful book which is about the war history of India. And that wonderful book is Kargil 1999. Kargil 1999. This book is about Pakistan's fourth war for Kashmir. From 1947 onwards, our neighboring country, Pakistan, was trying to interfere into, trespass into our territory. And that history of Pakistan's fourth war for Kashmir is very elaborately described and recorded in this great work Kargil 99 by, it is in fact edited by, there are a number of essays, very, very uh, wonderful informative essays by officers of the, of the armed forces, the Indian Navy, Air Force, and of course uh, the Army. And this perfect and excellent book is edited by Air Commodore Jasjit Singh Adivishish Seva Medal, uh, Indian Air Force. And now I went through this valuable book and I collected a lot of information and my lecture on the war history of India is based on, mainly based on this text of Air Commodore Jasjit Singh. Now let us just look back into the history of the country, the war history of the country. And when we look into the war history or other into the history of India, I would remember the name of the first Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru. Jawaharlal Nehru in his great work, Glimpses of World History, speaks about great Indian culture. What does Jawaharlal Nehru speak about the great Indian culture? The Indian culture is a culture of synthesis. That's what the, uh, the, the important idea in the book Glimpses of World History. And in that title, Glimpses of World History, Jawaharlal Nehru says the fact that India has been accepting, receiving, welcoming people, races, countries, okay, and cultures and, ling and language from all over the world. So our history has been a history of synthesis. Our culture has been a culture of synthesis. And that is very clear when we look at the history of India, especially the war history of India. And we can understand that India became free in 1947. Even before 1947, we had, of course, we, this particular lecture is just uh, looking at rather, in fact, it is a research into an analysis of the wars we had after independence. Mainly, we had uh, seven major conflicts or wars. All these seven are not real wars, but uh, one or two are just conflicts, right? And we are just looking at that. But even before that, we can see that there were problems in India. Before independence, in fact, we can just go to the medieval period, that is, of course, 1526 to 1857, we had the Mughals here. Mughals came, of course, they were foreigners, they came to our country. And then kings of India accepted them. After that, the Maratha Empire, the, 
kings and leaders of the Maratha people were, of course, ruling the country. Thereafter, of course, right, uh, see, Maratha uh, dynasty or uh, kingship just controlled the country, governed the country, of course, the central part of country from 1674 to 1818. And thereafter, in 1858, the British people came, the colonizers came, and that was, of course, the very, very painful time of uh, uh, India for all the Indians. They were just exploiting us. They were just treating Indians like slaves. And 1858 to 1947, we were oppressed, suppressed, and exploited and squeezed down to, of course, uh, the uh, uh, useless uh, uh, commodity by the British people. And our great freedom fighters stood together Everybody stood together, the freedom fighters, di disregarding caste, creed, color, uh, all such uh, things, right, okay, and disregarding everything, political ideology, stood together under Gandhiji, under uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, under Tagore, and of course the other leaders, and fought for the freedom of the country, and we got independence uh, on 15th August 1947. But country was not peace. There was in peace thereafter. We had, of course, a lot of problems thereafter. Very year of 1947, we saw the partition of the country into two. The country was divided into Pakistan on one side and Hindustan or India on the other side. And same year, 1947 to 1948, we have the first war of uh, war in India. That is the very first, right? I'm just speaking about that war. We are just looking at the war history of India after independence. So 1947 to 48, we are the first war. And in that war, of course, uh, a lot of soldiers on either side, on Indian side as well as the Pakistan side, died. And uh, now when I speak about the Kargil Vijay Divas, I pray to God that they, let there uh, be no more wars. Let there be no more wars because wars take lives. Lives are lost in wars. Many an officer, many a soldier, many wealth of the country, lot of flights, lot of choppers, lot of ships, lot of uh, uh, weapons. So much of money is wasted in a war. So let us pray unto God that there is no more war. Although we are celebrating a victory on Vijay Operation, Operation Vijay, we are remembering we have the Kargil Vijay Divas. But deep in my heart, I have the prayer that there is no more war in, of course, the history of uh, any nation, especially our country. So we had the first war in 1947-48. And of course, uh, we Indians became victorious in that war. Thereafter, in the year 1962, we have uh, the war, and that war is the Indochina War, Indochina War. And in this particular war, that war was very painful for us. 1962 war was very painful for us. Because Indian side, there were so much of casualties. So many soldiers, Indian soldiers died. And the victory, it is of course, uh, we, we, we are sad to admit the fact that the victory was on the side of China in the 1962 war. But... Yeah, that was a war in which we lost a lot of uh, personnel, a lot of soldiers, a lot of uh, uh, tanks, a lot of uh, flights, a lot of weapons, a lot of uh, humiliation for the country. But that was a war, 1962 Indochina War. And thereafter, we had uh, another war in 1965, and that was, of course, Indo-Pakistan War. So we are discussing Kargil Vijay Devas, and we, we have the book Kargil 1999 by Air Commodore Jasjit Singh, and it is about fourth war. So first war in 1947-48 period, second war in 1965. And this particular war, the 1965 war between India and Pakistan, that was again chaotic and a lot of lives were lost, but we became victorious in that war. And thereafter, we had the third war with Pakistan in 1971. And that is very historic. That is, uh, we have to, of course, that this war is very important, 1971 war, because on one side, we have India in the center. In the center, we have India. 
in the western part of India, we have, of course, Pakistan. And in the eastern part of India, we have Pakistan. So India just uh, 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 being uh, uh, restricted on either side of the western side and the eastern side by, by the western Pakistan and the eastern Pakistan. But luckily for Indians, that is the very, very purpose of India. India was with the East Pakistan. And India and East Pakistan together fought against the West Pakistan. And uh, we won. And our winning, our victory in that 1971 war gave freedom to Bangladesh. And East Pakistan thereafter became Bangladesh. So that is again another war. So we have 1947 war, first war. Thereafter we have 1962 war, second war, then 1965 war, and now the fourth war, 1971. Despite of all these problems, despite of all these failures, despite of all these great lows, Pakistan never learned. Pakistan always wanted to attack India. They never listen to the United Nations or any treaty. They always wanted to disturb us. And we had the Siachen conflict in 1984, or rather in the 1980s, 1980. It is not on a particular year. It is, of course, it began in 1980 sometime and continued 1981, 82, 83, and the war continued that continued till about 2003 80 it's in fact a, a 10 year duration the pakistan india conflict not a war as 